everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, October 27th, 2020, entitled, How Are Humans Different from Animals? Ooh. Genesis 126, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. It is not unusual to hear humans being referred to as animals. Many people are insulted by that, but few people know what separates humans from animals. At one time, people thought humans were separated from the animals by their ability to make and use tools. But we now know that many animals make and use tools. Some people have suggested that our ability to communicate separates us from the animals. But if you spend much time with animals or are familiar with studies in animal communication, you soon realize that many animals can communicate. Some can even communicate abstract ideas. Nor is the ability to form a culture and pass... Now, Jesus calling devotional... Oh, be quiet. Okay. Okay, and pass pass its knowledge down from generation to generation unique to humans. As we learn more about the abilities God has given to animals, many people have supposed that these vanishing distinctions between the humans and animals mean that humans really are just another member of the animal kingdom. But there is one thing that sets humans apart from animals, something that science can never discover and or deny. What makes humans distinct from animals is that humans are morally accountable to God. Animals are not responsible for morality. It is for this reason that we are made differently from the animals. Yes, we have a material body, as they do, but we also have a spiritual component to our beings, like the angels. In this respect, we have as much in common with the angels as we do with animals. Dear Father in Heaven, you made me because you want to love me, but by my sin I have pushed you away. For Jesus' sake, forgive me, cleanse me in his blood, and give me the peace that can only come through an ongoing, healthy relationship with you. Amen. Wow, isn't that awesome? Yeah, I don't know, somebody calling me an animal (laughs) wouldn't exactly be, you know, the best compliment. It wouldn't be a compliment at all, but yeah. Wow. Wow. You know, one thing about that, you know, people ask, well, you know, you know, if God is great or whatever, then, you know, why do people do horrible things? God, you know, this, this one nails it right there, I think, you know, God gave us free will. He wants us to choose him. He didn't, he could have just made a bunch of robots that, you know, automatically, well, didn't have a choice and, you know, served him, but, but God wanted us to choose him. So, he loves us that much that he wanted to have he wanted us to love him and serve him and to commune with him but he wanted us to make that choice he didn't want to just do it for us it was the love of a father that that gave us that free will isn't that awesome you know the love of jesus is the most intense thing that that we could ever know and we don't even know at all we can't even barely scratch the surface of it um there's a song um And I've got to figure out how to post YouTube links for you guys on social media. But this song has been a blessing to me. It's called Everything by Jessa Anderson. J-E-S-S-A Anderson. Look it up on YouTube. Um, It's a very... It only... Like I said, it only scratches the surface of the intensity of God's love. But but it's a a lesson to all of us. Um, Let's see. I'm going to try to butcher the chorus. <laughs> and I do mean butcher. There's no way I can sing this right. Let's see. You know it hits me like a tidal wave when I buckle down beneath the weight of all you are. No less than everything. I am helpless but to speak your name. The sweetest sound I'll ever make with all my heart. I'm giving everything. Everything. Just if, if you hear one thing I said to you today, know that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Let's think about that today. Praise God. And may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow. Stop.